welcome to zero entire that is all about the earth so this is a time again to share one more video with you so in this video i am going to tell you the remaining part of the previous video so in this video i am going to share what are the different phases of an earthquake classification of earthquake and third thing that is the distribution of earthquake and the flow so what are the causes of an earthquake so there are different causes of an earthquake so we will see uh, one by one uh, most important that is the three so tectonic cause in tectonic cause what happens the tectonic earthquake occurs at plate boundaries the tectonic plates are constantly moving slowly but sometimes what happens the friction between them causes them lock together and become unable to move the rest of the plates carry on moving which leads to increased pressure on the locked section and eventually the locked section succumbs to the pressure and the plates move past each other rapidly this moment causes a tectonic earthquake so the waves of released energy move through the earth's crust and cause and shaking we feel at an earthquake site so these waves that is the already we have seen psl waves a tectonic earthquake occurs where tectonic plates meet an area known as the boundary when two plates push into each other they form a convergent plate boundary for example the oceanic plate of the coast of south america along the peru chile trench pushes into and subducted under the south american plate this movement lifts up the south american plate creating the andes mountains the nasa plates breaks into smaller parts that are locked in the place for long periods before suddenly shifting to cause earthquake so this is the cause of the tectonic plates and most of the earthquakes of the world are around the boundaries of these tectonic plates more than 80% of the earthquakes are found at the uh, boundaries that is the tectonic cause of the second cause we will see non tectonic the non, in the non tectonic cause what happens the earthquake which are related to the intra plate the intra plate earthquakes refers to a variety of earthquake so that occurs within the interior of the tectonic plates this stands in contrast to an inter plate earthquake so inter plate uh, inter plate earthquake occurs at the boundary of a tectonic plate it is exact opposite of that inter plate earthquake in inter plate earthquakes these are relatively rare compared to the more familiar boundary located inter plate inter plate earthquakes therefore large inter plate earthquakes can inflict heavy damage with such areas structures lacking seismic retrofitting for example damaging intraplate for example damaging intraplate earthquake are the devastating gujarat earthquake in 2001 in 2012 indian ocean earthquake in 2017 pubel earthquake in the 1811 and 1812 earthquake in new madrid and mosuri and in 1886 earthquake of uh, south carolina that is the charleston so many cities lie with the seismic risk of a rare large intraplate earthquake so this is the second cause so the cause of these earthquakes is often uncertain in many cases they causative because of the fault fault is the uh, crack or joint along with the, the displacement and sometimes energy stores and this energy uh, comes from that point Uh, in the form of waves and we feel the we sense the earthquake and sometimes cannot even be found some studies have shown that it can be caused by fluids moving up the crust along the ancient fault zones 
Under these circumstances, it is difficult to calculate the exact seismic hazard for a given city, especially if there if there was only one earthquake in historical times. Some progress is being made in understanding the fault mechanics driving these earthquakes. So, interplate earthquakes may be unrelated to the ancient fault zones and instead caused by deglaciation or erosion. There are number of causes. We will see uh, that is uh, in Maharashtra, uh, Koina earthquake in 1967, that was the one of the famous earthquake in Maharashtra, that is the interplate earthquake. That earthquake was because of the uh, water induced seismicity. So, induced seismicity, this is our one more cause for the earthquake. So, what happens? The most induced seismicity is of low magnitude. Whatever the earthquakes are happening because of this reason, reason those earthquakes are having low magnitude. A few cities regularly have large peaks, such as the Geyser Geothermal Plant in California, which average a magnitude up to the four events and uh, magnitude 3 events every year from 2004 to 2009. These results of ongoing multi day research on induced earthquake by the United States Geological Survey, that is the USGS, published in 2015, suggested that most of the significant earthquakes in Olkhama, such as the 1952 magnitude of 5.7, and Rena earthquake may have been induced by deep injection of west water by the oil industry. Earthquake rates have recently increased markedly in multiple areas of the central and eastern United States. Especially since 2010 and scientific studies have linked the majority of this increased activity to waste water injection disposal wells. So these are the three different causes of an earthquake. Tectonic, non-tectonic and induced seismicity. These are the basically three causes of an earthquake. Now we will see what are the different classification of earthquake. We are, I am going to tell you uh, the classification. Uh, there are two types of classification. In first classification that is uh, depending upon their mode of origin, how earthquakes are originated. On the basis of these, the earthquakes are classified into three types. So first one is the earthquake due to surface uh, causes. Then second that is the uh, type that is earthquake due to volcanic cause and third type that is earthquake due to tectonic cause. Earthquake due to surface cause it is nothing but the when uh, landslide is happening or any roof is uh, collapsed on the surface and that is why uh, earthquake is generated those earthquakes are called as earthquake due to surface causes and this is very very minor earthquakes they are having a very low magnitude and they are not that much violent. Then second type that is earthquake due to volcanic cause. So when volcano is erupted on their surface, it causes some ground shaking moment. So these, these earthquakes also are very minor earthquakes. Then third type that is the earthquake due to tectonic cause. So most of the 80% of the earth because of this tectonic cause. So they are mostly found uh, at the boundary of the plates. So that is the earthquake due to tectonic cause. Then second classification that is on the basis of the depth of earthquake. The second classification of earthquake that is based on the depth of earthquake. So earthquake is this type of earthquake are again classified into three types. That is the shallow focus earthquake, intermediate focus earthquake and deep focus earthquake. So that this classification on the basis of depth of earthquake. So shallow focus earthquake are those earthquakes having focus up to the depth of 55 km. Intermediate earthquake that is earthquake type of earthquake which having uh, focus in between 55 to 300 km. Then last type that is the deep focus earthquake that having focus in between 300 to 650 km. When we compare these three earthquakes shallow focus, intermediate focus and deep focus earthquake. Shallow focus earthquakes are more violent, but their area is limited compared to the deep focus earthquake. That is the main difference in between shallow focus and deep focus earthquake. Then, next aspect that is the distribution of earthquake. So, 
majority of earth square is distributed on the earth surface in three belts so these belts are that is the circum pacific belts that is the most of the 80% of the earth square are happening uh, at the border of the pacific ocean that is the uh, circum pacific belt we can say that then second belt that is the Al alpine himalayan belt these these belts start from west indies and passes through the himalayan foothill region to the alpine mountain arcs of europe so uh, this is the second belt where earthquake is majority found on, on the earth globe then third type distribution of uh, distribution of earthquake that is the rift valley region of the east and central africa so these are the three belts which are present on the earth surface uh, which having most of the earthquakes having more frequency in these three uh, belts so with this i stop here if you like my video you subscribe my youtube channel